everybody and thank you so much for watching. Today we will make this absolutely gorgeous poncho. I adjusted the pattern to make this poncho for larger sizes. We will make a beautiful border with tassels and embellish the neckline a little bit. Here you can see it turned to the side. I am using Mandala Sparkle Yarn from Line Brand. The color is called Noah and you can see how much yarn I use right here. I also use some leftover yarn. If you want to use just whole skeins, you need 4 skeins for a size XL. And a US size 7 or 4.5mm hook, also for size XL. My square measures 22 inches diagonally and 16 inches across and that is for a large size but when you press or iron it, it will become a size XL. Now it measures 24 inches diagonally and 18 inches across. I also ironed my finished poncho, it is 37 inches long and 41 inches wide. If you want to go smaller, you can use a G6 or 4 mm hook. If you want to go larger, you can use an H8 5 mm or an I9 5.5 mm hook and press or iron your poncho. This is how the poncho looks on me. It is the XL. I am 5 foot 5. And to see the bottom of the poncho, I am climbing on this chair. Oop. And as you can see, it almost goes to my knees. We will make four squares. When they are folded together, they will make the back and the two sleeves and the front of the poncho. And you know I like to change colors to get the beautiful mandala effect and to have the same color at the beginning and the end of the round. But you can of course change colors the way you like or not at all and use for example a gradient yarn. The square that you're seeing right here is the one we will make in the video. Let's get started with a magic ring. Place the end of your yarn in your open hand and wrap it around your two fingers like an X. Turn your hand and go underneath the right loop and pull the left loop through. And it looks a little bit like a pretzel. Then make a chain and pull tight. Then chain 3 for the first double crochet and make 15 more doubles into the magic ring around both pieces of yarn. So together with the chain of 3 we will have 16 double crochet. And you can pull the ring a little bit tight. It may be easier to crochet into the ring for you. And then you can pull the string a little more at the end of the round and tighten your ring. Finish round one with a slip stitch next to the first double crochet into the fourth chain. So we have the small chain and then three more chains we made to replace the double. Go into the fourth chain and make a slip stitch next to the double crochet and start round two. Now we will treble crochet two together. Chain 3 for the first treble crochet and then go into the same stitch, yarn over twice that you just made the slip stitch into, pull the yarn through, then pull through 2 loops, through 2 and through 2 and chain 2 and repeat, yarn over twice, go into the second double, not the third one. The second double looks a little bit open, it's sometimes easy to skip. Pull a loop, pull through 2, through 2 and leave 2 loops on the hook. Yarn over twice, go into the same stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, through two and then through all three loops. Chain two, go to the next stitch, make the unfinished treble crochet, leave two loops on the hook. Yarn over twice, go into the same stitch, leave three loops on the hook, pull through all three loops, chain two and repeat. Go to the next stitch, make an unfinished treble, leave two loops on the hook. Make the second treble into the same stitch, leave 3 loops on the hook, pull through all 3, chain 2, make 16 groups with 2 trebles together and chain 2 in between. Finish round 2 with a chain of 2 and we have our 16 groups with 2 trebles together. Make a slip stitch into the first treble crochet and make a slip stitch into the chain space. You can make a slip stitch into the chain space with the yarn that you're already crocheting with. I will make the same slip stitch with a new color and of course you can change colors with me or use your color. It is up to you. Start round 3. Chain 4 for the first treble crochet. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then make two more trebles into the same chain space. If you have a loose end like me, you can crochet around that as well. 
make one treble crochet and the second one so together with the chain of four we have three trebles chain one go to the next chain space and also make three trebles one two and three and chain one make 16 groups of three treble crochet with chain one in between I also like to sew in my loose ends as I go along so I don't have to do it all at the same time at the end. Finish round three with a chain of one and then make four slip stitches. The first one into the fourth chain. The second one into the treble next to it. The third one into the next treble and the fourth one into the chain space and start round four. Now we have 16 groups of three treble crochet with chain one in between. Chain four for the first treble crochet and chain two for the chain space and make another treble crochet into the same chain space. So we're making triangles in this round or re-stitches. Chain two, go to the next chain space and repeat the triangle. Make a treble crochet into the chain space. Chain two and make another treble crochet into the chain space chain two. So we have little triangles and in between we made little squares. Go to the next chain space and make the triangle. Make a treble crochet, chain two, make a treble crochet into the same chain space. Chain two and make a treble, two chains and a treble into all of the chain spaces with a chain of two in between. At the end of the round we will have 16 triangles and 16 squares. Finish round four with a chain of two and make a slip stitch directly into the triangle and start round five. Chain four for the first treble crochet and make a second treble crochet into the triangle or into the v-stitch. Chain one, go into the little square next to it into the next chain space of two and make three trebles into it. One, two, and three. Chain one, and make two trebles into the triangle. So into the triangle we make two trebles and into our little squares we make three trebles with chain one in between. Two trebles into the triangle, chain one, and make three trebles into the little square. One, two, three, chain one, make two trebles into the triangle, make three trebles into the little square, chain one in between. At the end of round five we have 16 groups of three trebles and 16 groups of two trebles with chain one in between. Finish with a chain one and make a slip stitch into the fourth chain and into the treble crochet and into the chain space and you can switch yarn again if you like. I will switch to a new color and make a slip stitch into my chain space and start round six. Start round six with a chain of three to replace the first double crochet, one, two, and three. Chain three for the chain space and go into the next chain space of one in between the groups of double crochet and make a double crochet. Chain three, go into the next chain space and make a double crochet. Chain three. This way make 32 chain spaces with double crochet into all of the chain spaces and chain three in between. Finish round six with a chain of three and make a slip stitch into the chain space. Start round seven. Chain three for the first double crochet, then make three more doubles into the same chain space. One, two, and three. Chain one, go to the next chain space and make four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, make four doubles into all of the chain spaces with a chain one in between. Finish round seven with a chain of one and make a slip stitch into the third chain and into the three doubles. Slip stitch into the double and into the next double and into the third double and also make a slip stitch into the chain space if you like to change colors and I will change colors again. You can make a slip stitch with a new color start round eight. 
chain one and make a single crochet into the chain space chain four one two three four and make a single crochet into the next chain space of one and that's all we're doing in this round chain four make a single crochet into the next chain space chain four make a single crochet into the next chain space and we will have 32 chain spaces at the end of round eight and I wanted to mention really quickly how pretty it looks when you change from light to dark colors or vice versa on the double crochet in the chain spaces finish round eight with a chain of four and make a slip stitch into the single crochet then you can make a slip stitch into the chain space with the same color but as I said before it looks really pretty when you change colors in those rounds so I will make my slip stitch with a new color and start round nine in round nine we will make trebles again chain four for the treble crochet one two three and four then make three more treble crochet into the same chain space and I will treble crochet around the loose end so I don't have to sew it in later. One, two trebles and the third treble so together with the chain we have four trebles. Chain two, go to the next chain space and repeat. Make four treble into the next chain space. One, two, three, and four, and chain two, repeat 32 times, make four trebles into all of the chain spaces with a chain two in between. Finish round nine with a chain of two and make five slip stitches into the fourth chain and then in each of the treble crochet one, two slip stitches and the third one and if you like you can change color with me again I will make my slip stitch into the chain space with a new color and start round 10 chain one and make a single crochet into the same chain space chain five one two three four five go to the next chain space and make a single crochet chain five go to the next chain space and make a single crochet and in this way we will have 32 chain spaces finish round 10 with a chain of five and make a slip stitch into the first single crochet and a slip stitch into the chain space and start round 11 and now we will turn our circle into a square and put our markers for the four corners. Put your first marker where you just made the slip stitch, then count seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your marker into the eighth space, count seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your marker into the eighth space, count seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven put your mark into the eighth space and then you have seven more spaces left one two three four five six seven and here's our first marker again I made a drawing that shows us what kind of stitches go in each of the chain spaces let's start with the corner that's where our first marker is we have to make three treble crochet four chains and three treble crochet into the first corner chain four for the first treble then make two more trebles into the corner space one and two chain four then we make three more trebles into the corner space the same chain space and that's our first corner one treble two and three now let's move to the second chain space into the second chain space we have to make five double crochet let's make five doubles into the second chain space one two three four and five 
Into the third chain space we have to make five half double crochet. Move to the next chain space and make five half doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. Into the fourth chain space we have to make five single crochet. Move to the next chain space and make five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. Into chain space five we also have to make five single crochet. Move to the next chain space, make five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we have to move to chain space number six and we have to make five single crochet again. Make five singles into chain space number six. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we have two more chain spaces left as you can see before we get to the corner. Into chain space seven, make five half doubles. One, two, three, four, five. And in our last chain space, the eighth chain space, we have to make five doubles again. So we're getting bigger again towards the corner. One, two doubles, three, four, and five. So we filled all of our eight chain spaces. And now we have to repeat the corner again. And the corner is chain space number one where the marker is. Let's look. In space number one we make three trebles, four chains and three trebles. Let's do that. Go where the marker is. Our first chain space. Make the three treble crochet into the chain space. One, two, and three. Chain four. Make three more trebles into chain space number one. One, two, and three. And now we can repeat the sequence and make the same stitches in the remaining seven chain spaces. Make five double crochet into the second chain space, five half double crochet into the third chain space, five singles into the fourth chain space, five singles into the fifth chain space, five singles into the sixth chain space, and then we're getting larger again. Make five half doubles into the seventh chain space and five double crochet into the eighth chain space. Then we're at our third corner. That's our chain space one again. Make three treble crochet, four chains and three treble crochet and repeat on the third side. Five doubles, five halves, five singles, five singles, five singles, five halves and five double crochet. Then make the fourth corner and the fourth side the same way. Finish round 11 with 5 doubles into chain space number 8. Then make a slip stitch into the 4th chain and into the treble and into the 2nd treble and into the chain space and start round 12. And as you can see our square is starting to form. Let's make the first corner. It's the same as before. Chain four for the treble crochet, then make two more trebles into the first corner space. One and two. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and make three more trebles into the corner space. One, two, and three. And now we will make the same stitches as we made in the previous round. So where we made three doubles or three trebles I should say, I'm sorry, we will make three trebles. Make three trebles into the previous three trebles. One, two, and three trebles. Then I left the drawing up so we can double check. Remember we made five double crochet. Make five double crochet into the previous five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Next, we will make five half double crochet. We have five halves in the previous round and we will make five half doubles now. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we have five single crochet. Let's make five single crochet into the previous five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. And then make five single crochet again into the previous five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. And again make five single crochet into the previous five singles. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we made five half doubles. So now we make five half doubles. Make five half doubles into the previous five half doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. We made five doubles, so now we're making five doubles into the previous five doubles. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're basically making all of the stitches we make in the previous round. And we left with three more trebles, so we make three more trebles. Make the first treble. And the second treble into the second treble and the third treble into our last treble crochet and then make the second corner three trebles into the corner space one two and three chain four and make three trebles into the corner space one, two, and three. So where we made treble crochet in the previous round, we will make trebles. Where we made doubles, we will make doubles. Where we made half doubles, we will make half doubles. And where we made singles, we will make single crochet. Make the second side the same way and I left the drawing up for round 11 so we can see our previous stitches. Make three treble crochet into the previous three trebles. Make five double crochet, five half double crochet, five singles, five singles, five singles, five half doubles, five doubles, and then again the three trebles on the end. Then make your corner, three trebles, four chains, and three trebles, and then repeat on the other sides and on the other corners. Finish round 12 with 3 treble crochet and I go underneath the slip stitches we made in the previous round. Go underneath the slip stitch into the 4th chain and crochet right around the um, slip stitch and make the treble crochet into the 4th chain. Make a treble crochet underneath the slip stitch again into the treble crochet. And then make the last treble crochet into the last treble underneath the slip stitch again. Make a slip stitch into the fourth chain, into the treble, into the second treble and into the chain space and start round 13. You should have 47 stitches on each side. Remember we just made a slip stitch to finish the round so that slip stitch doesn't count. You can start next to the slip stitch and you should also have 47 stitches there not counting the slip stitch. Make a chain of three for the first double crochet. Make another double crochet into the chain space. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Make two more doubles into the chain space. And that's our corner until we finish our square. Two doubles, four chains and two doubles. Make a double crochet into the first stitch, our treble crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch, 
make a double crochet, chain one, skip one, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one, and make a double crochet until you get to the second corner. Make your last double crochet into the last treble, and we have 23 of those little squares. Then repeat the corner, make two doubles, one, two, four chains, and two doubles into the corner space, one, and two. Then you can repeat on all of the other sides. Make a double into the first stitch, the first treble, chain one, skip one, make a double, chain one, skip one, make a double on all of the sides, and into the corners, make two doubles, four chains, and two doubles. Make one chain at the end of round 13, skip over the treble crochet and go into the chain of four and I go underneath the slip stitch again and I go into the fourth chain and make a double, chain one, skip over the treble and go underneath the slip stitch again and make a double crochet into that last treble crochet. Make a slip stitch into the third chain and into the double crochet and into the chain space and start round 14 and we make our corner again the same way chain 3, make a double crochet chain 1, 2, 3, 4 and make 2 doubles into the chain space in this round we will make double crochet into every stitch just make doubles into all of the doubles When you get to the chain space, make a double into the chain space, make a double into the double, make a double into the chain space and do that until you get to the corner. Make a double into the chain space, then make three doubles into the previous three doubles, then you can make all the other corners the same way, two doubles, four chains and two doubles into the corner space. And you can make all the other sides also the same way. Three doubles into the first three doubles, double into the chain space, double into the double. Finish round 14 with a double crochet in the previous double, a double underneath the slip stitch into the third chain, and a double crochet into the last double underneath the slip stitch again into the last double of the previous round. Make a slip stitch into the third chain and then make a slip stitch into your double crochet and a slip stitch into the chain space and start round 15. Chain 3 for the double crochet make a double into the corner space chain 4 and make two doubles into the corner space so our usual corner. And now we will repeat round 13 again. Make a double into the first double, chain one, skip one stitch, make a double crochet, chain one, skip one, make a double, and repeat it until you get to the corner, chain one, skip one, make a double. Make your last double crochet into the last double of the previous round and then repeat the corner, two doubles, four chains, two doubles, make a double into the first double of the previous round, chain one, skip one, make a double. In this round you should have 27 of these little squares. Finish round 15 with a chain, skip over the chain of three of the previous round and I'll go underneath the slip stitch again and make a double crochet into the last double crochet of the previous round. Make a slip stitch into the third chain and make a slip stitch into the double crochet and make a slip stitch into the chain space and start round 16 which is a repeat of round 14. Make a chain of three, a double crochet, four chains and two double crochet into the corner space. Make three doubles into the previous three doubles. Make a double into the chain space and a double into the double, a double into the chain space and a double into the double and in the corner make two doubles, four chains and two doubles. 
finish round 16 with a double into the third out of the three doubles then make a double into the third chain underneath the slip stitch and a double crochet into the last double of the previous round also underneath the slip stitch make a slip stitch into the third chain the double crochet and the chain space and start round 17 and that will be our last round and it's the same as round 15 chain 3 make a double chain 4 and make two doubles into the corner so a regular corner make a double into the first double chain 1 skip 1 make a double chain 1 skip 1 make a double repeat this pattern on all four sides and into the corner make two doubles four chains and two doubles and you should have 31 little squares on all four sides finish the round with one chain skip over the chain of three and go into the last double of the previous round underneath the slip stitch and make a double crochet now you can pull out your yarn and thread a needle let's make an invisible join skip over the chain of three and go into the double crochet through both loops from the front to the back skip over the chain again and go into the last double you made through the back loop and the back bump top down go over to the left side again and so when you lose ends and now our stitch count is correct our first square is complete please make three more squares and i will see you in part two where we will put our puncher together i see you then bye bye <laughs>